Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of EO4 as Alodia, where we are. Well, decided, we decided it was time to expand, but uh, we had to go to a no CB to get that done. It's gonna be a painful process, but hey, Ethiopia was there, they were willing to fight, and they're gonna fight for us. I don't think they will be as willing to secure uh, Egypt for us. And it looks like the... Um, the Ottomans are busy with something. They haven't pushed down this way yet. So we'll see what we can do here. Now Ethiopia is locked to fight in the mountains. Yeah. Come on, defeat them before they reinforce. Good! Very good. We crushed their army. That is very good indeed. This unfortunately is a fort. Do I want to push... To siege, I probably do, yeah. And we'll see what they do. For the most part, they seem to be willing to be just running around there. And that's good news for us. If their army dies, that's good news for us. And our subject decided to support us, so that's also good. It looks like Ethiopia will happily try to crush every enemy there. And let's see, we still need a few more points before we can buy up that last ability. There we go. Yeah, it is a bit of a high opportunity cost, but still. Actually, I shouldn't do that. I should go and spy on Adal, shouldn't I? Ethiopia won that war, too. fort and a capital fort, so it's going to be painful to get through this one. But I want to, get, want to get through that. He's chasing down these armies. I could probably go over here and siege afterwards. Don't know what Ethiopia is going to do. We've taken all the provinces that they're the most interested in. If he sits on Zula, that's actually okay. I mean, most of their armies are gone now. I don't dare split up my forces, though. Not quite yet. You decide to siege that. That's fine. It's gonna take forever to siege. If I get through here, I'm gonna try to kill the Kaffan army there. Okay, new mission. Um, sure, accumulate money. How much? 56 ducats. That's feasible. How much land can we take from Adal? About half of their country. We we'll definitely take these two provinces. If we could afford it, I would have loved to take the entire coastline. It very much depends on what Ethiopia does with that fort. If they decide to keep it for themselves, we can't really do much. Oh, and you decide to support us as well. Okay. That's not ideal. You're going to increase our attrition. But I need nine troops to see John Kaffa as well, so... No need to split, and if I do split, they're going to march on us. Come on, fall! 21%. Getting there. And then we're probably going to smash here and try to grab the rest of the territory. Where are you going? Oh! This guy decided to intervene. 
Ähm. Ja, ich bin der Prestige. That is problematic. If he kills the ward leader, what happens then? You little opportunistic bastard. Here's hoping that they move their armies over there and kill him. But they don't have any forces, do they? Adal isn't in that one. Or are they? No, they're not. Kafa is, but not Adal. Ah. Oh, you little bastard. So angry right now. And Kaffa is just parked there. They're not moving anywhere. Okay, almost fell. Yeah, if he uh, full annexes them. <laughs> Even worse, Seal's gonna go straight for the fort, isn't he? Yeah, he is. So I can't delay this anymore, I have to go up there. Uh, importing iron. Uh, two mercantilism, or... 60 mil points. It doesn't really do much for us, but I do want the mercantilism. 60 mil points would have been nice, though. Okay, you... Okay, Kafan forces are now finally retreating. Hopefully they'll be strong enough to punch through there. It's my vague hope. If they can relieve the fort there, it would be awesome. We'll see. If he decides to siege that fort, we're just going to grab the other province. He can't take more than one province at a time. And then we could just try to vassalize them and then fight him immediately. It would work. It would work. You're fighting him. I can't help. Unless this fort falls. It would be ideal if it did so right now. Uh, of course it didn't. He retreated anyway. And you succeeded, of course you did. A newborn daughter. Okay, so I have some choices here. Uh, I can get an heir. 3 for one with an average claim, so I'll suffer significantly for that. Or I can ignore that. I will not get an air at all for quite a few years, and I will get tons of unrest. Well, that's actually one year. Um, it would be a daughter. Uh, would that be a problem? Not really. Average claim, that's bad, but if I were to switch dynasties... Oh! Right now it's House Solomonid. Um, that could also mean that we would become a personal union if we were at peace. Fine. We'll make her an heir. Um, I can still disown her for an extra 50 prestige. But, 3, 4, 1, I don't know, given how, how, how old our king is, I think we're just gonna have to go with it. Good, Haret finally fell, um, you're moving around, that's okay. And I'm gonna unattach that. Please, yes, good, you go elsewhere, so you don't attrition me.
I'm just gonna occupy the nearby provinces. Just in case they decide to keep that one. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually took them and the whole thing, my war white beast because of that. Could happen, and it would piss me off significantly. Um, you're still not fighting them. And hopefully you'll turn that over to me. You should have no interest in it. But it's a core province of his subject. They might turn it over to... Yeah. I was afraid of that. Thank you for doing that. And... Okay, they're not sieging down that yet. They aren't attacking Kaffa, why not? Hmm, not sure why. Okay, you went for there, I can't go there. Uh, let's move up to the mountain fort. And I can't get to that province quickly enough. Because the AI will almost certainly beeline for it. Can't you unseat this one, please? Ugh. Okay, you took that. Oh, okay, fine. I'm gonna go over there then. Just fully occupy. Natal. Uh, let's see, I don't need that anymore. They're gonna kill this army. Which is fine. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna have 100% occupation of him. And that should be a fine little peace settlement. Problem is that they probably have an interest. No, they don't. Okay. So they should turn it over to us. His army's there and just waiting for the peace to happen. Okay, we secured that. Let's move to this province, or at least move in that direction. So, Adal. If I wanted the entire coastline, I could take it. Nadal would be pissed, so it would be quite a few other countries. I'd get overextension, obviously. No one would be mad at me. I could end your alliance with the Mamluks. Which is certainly interesting enough to do. And I could take your money. I mean, I could try to take more land, but it's really not advantageous to us. Uh, all this land is Sunni. So, we wouldn't get any benefit from that. And what I really want is the ability to get down here. Um, though, getting the that province could also be beneficial. How much will that cost? Uh, if I don't end your rivalries, I could take that province. That would basically protect him. Uh, I don't think Ethiopia would be mad enough to attack at all. There'd be five provinces that are of the wrong religion. And a little bit of money. Quite a lot of overextension. We don't really care about Adal, so that's fine. Viliata don't really care about either. Nor Janjiro, they won't exist. I'd gain power projection. I could gain more if I did something fancier, but yeah. 
That's good enough. It's gonna bring us... We're basically gonna surround Ethiopia, thanks to our subject state over there. And we should be able to core because we have our subject state. Um, I suppose we could turn this over to Medribahi. Since they have a core there, that would slightly lessen our problems. I mean, it's cheap I, I, anyway. And it would convert faster, yeah. Let's switch that over to Medribahi. Please don't tell me I've messed up now. Oh, for... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I did mess up. <laughs> so I can't take it. Uh, because now it's not adjacent to Medribahi. Okay, so I can give all of that coastline to Medribahi. Yeah, okay, so I fucked up there. Huh. So I can't take any of this for myself. It'll all have to go to Medribahi, and they'll have to pay the cost of coring and all of that fun stuff. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, I screwed up there. Um. Yeah. But still, we can still conquer there if Medribai fabricates for us. So it's just gonna be them that's gonna have to suffer all the rebels and fun stuff. We're gonna have to keep an eye on them. Uh, the money, we're not gonna gain any of it, are we? Actually, we will get half of it. I find that. I don't think they're going to be all that much more rebellious. We'll find out eventually. But yeah, that's that war. And he decides to siege that one. Yeah, of course. Uh, in that case... Let's get that. We should have tons of aggressive expansion at this point. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's fine. We're gonna take a while to cool all this down. Mm. Oh, that's why they won't coalition us, because they are actually... They like us. They have positive attitudes for us, so they won't... Uh... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, you're actually allied to my Lindy, that's not terrifying. Adal and Pate. Adal is no longer a valid rival, you don't say. Okay, he's up there, causing problems. Friendly's gonna touch. To go down and get that province anyway. Let's do that first. And he's marching on the capital, which is not surprising. No, no military access for you. Mm, and we're not paying for corruption. But our subject state is, of course. Are you able to make it a core? Good for you. Yeah, so I kind of screwed up there. But still. When we have things to convert now, they certainly have something to convert to. We can't do anything there. With the actual war goal. Um, and if we subjugate them, will we become part of that war? Probably. Um, It. No, we can't afford that. And you, of course, started sieging our capital. Little bastard. Um, that 
our capital, so we can't really not do that. It's the only province we have that has, a, has any value. And of course, that's where he decided to go and lose my money. Erg. It's my money. Bad, Kaffa. Bad. Is there money still to steal here? Still some money to steal. He lost that battle, of course. Okay, that's all the money. Let's go and relieve our capital. No aggressive expansion at all with the Coptics, which is awesome. <laughs> nor, nor with anyone in the... No, that's us, of course. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. <laughs> I mean, the only one we really worry about is the Mamluks. And they are still... Uh, quite content... Being at peace with us. Now we just have to liberate our capital, which is the only province of worth in our little empire. Hopefully he'll turn that province over to us, otherwise we'll be in a world of hurt. Oh, um, darn it, we're already locked. And he decided to fight me, so he gets the crossing. What kind of a monster are you, since you have two shock? Yeah, that would kind of do it. But you also have the crossing, so that'll upset that, and we have twice the numbers. Excellent. Of course, we're locked, so we can't actually pursue him. He shouldn't be retreating far. He didn't either. Unfortunately, he's going to regain morale. Oh yeah, we'll be too oh darn it, I forgot about the mission. Um, rival of our rival is Varsangali. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Uh, Liberty Alexandria, that ain't gonna happen either. Pro our prestige, very unlikely to happen, but yeah, keep that for now. There goes his army. Perfect. Don't need friendlies to touch anymore. I'm just gonna go home. It's reinforcements, right? That cost this kind of... Yeah. Three ducats just for reinforcements. Blah. Expensive as heck. Hopefully Ethiopia will hand that fort over to us. You were a good ally, my friend. You did good. You did very good. Let's see, you have how many favors now? 16. On the right side, this should mean that he starts fabricating. He should start fabricating in this area. At least I hope so. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna put these as special interest just to see if he does something there. Now, we can't really embark on at a war with Yemen, can we? Actually, we could, because we control one side here. So we should be able to cross. Well, that's not really my highest priority. Not for the time being, anyway. Good, we finally uh, replay that. Let's quickly kill army maintenance so we actually make money. Look at Medribai, so good, they're all, almost almost finished coring. Good boy. Uh, 
am going to need a bit of Diplo points. Uh, crumble. Fine. Uh, that's more money we don't have. I need that money. I also need Diplo points if I'm going to piece out Kaffa, which I can do now. You're going to be my vassal. A couple of people are going to be pissed about that. Will I join that or the boar? I won't. You're not going to give up your claims. You're going to keep those. Uh, that won't matter. You aren't going to keep your money. Because I want your money. Oh my. You had a lot of money. You were rich. Yeah, of the countries that are eligible, there are those are the ones that would join. But that doesn't matter right now. Of course, they are still at... No, they're not at war. They're actually peaced out immediately. Okay, that's good. So they're not in the other war. Uh, of course, that means Janjiro... It's going to be immediately eaten by the other side. Can I get anything out of them? Unfortunately, that would not be possible, of course, because we don't hold the fort. Um, how much money could I take? Oh, we would even give him a favor by doing that. Really? Yeah, because most of that money would go to the other two. That's fine. Um, and the country would be annexed by this little blob anyway. Fine, let's do that. And you are, of course, allied to Ethiopia, so I can't attack you. And you're also allied to... Yeah, I might have to do that next. Depending on how the alliances pan out. He's gonna take this. That might break their alliance. Who knows? We have enough money now. I'm gonna repay that loan. Because I don't want it. We're at peace. I just no longer have a rival. The clergy wants more lands. What else can possibly go wrong? Let's see. Our only potential rival is Ethiopia. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, they're the reason we won that war. How do they feel about our aggressive expansion? They are kind of cross. But not as cross as they could be, so who cares? Besides, we have a new subject state. So technically we didn't gain an actual chunk of land, but certainly gain one more vassal, so we have some room leeway down this way. If this alliance breaks, we can play with them. And of course we got our subject to get more land down there. He should still be... Ag no, of course not. He doesn't. He's aggressive. He's ours. Um, so he probably wouldn't fabricate claims there. We'll see what he does once he has course, course on everything there. He might do something fun then. Till then, we just have to sit back and make good money. We're gonna need that money. As soon as we get the Renaissance, and I think we're just gonna 
pop it. There we go. Renaissance is present. Oh yeah, uh, clergy. Um, none of these provinces are particularly beneficial to us. I suppose I'll grant the front and the top here to the clergy. Or... No, this one. You... Actually, no, that's... Uh, valuable trade goods. Certainly more than slaves. Yeah, okay, fine. This one to the clergy. And we can embrace the Renaissance. For 56 ducats. We can wait. I don't think that's going to reduce the cost by much. Of course, as soon as we embrace it, that's going to benefit everybody in the nearby area, but... Uh, well, let's do it. Construction and development cost goes down. And if we want to embrace another culture, which is what we kind of what we were thinking about doing... We can find the down button for it. There we go. Beha would need... 20 development. So, uh, okay, if we're going to develop this province then, after that's been converted. So that I don't have that problem. And that won't happen this episode. It is time for a short break. We'll do that and we'll see if we can continue our... Well, we might have to wait for <laughs> some aggressive expansion to die down. But at least I feel a little bit better about strengthening our position. We still can't really fight the Mamluks until until they are at war with the Turk at the very least. We'll see what happens. For now, short break. Thank you for watching.